I wanted to react to this video because it is so real. Men, black men mostly, do not speak about mental illness because they always carry that strong, rough exterior around, you know, that macho man type of energy. And a lot of them are hurting. She's stepping over all her obstacles with her kings and queens she's short and spicy short and spicy it's the love of god she's all in her own welcome back to short and spicy nicks this is your girl nikki speaking how you guys doing today this topic that i'm going to be reacting to is mental illness once you see the orange shirt comes out with the mental health on it you know already and it's something that we don't discuss very often men and mental health men and mental illnesses but before we get into this video don't forget to like comment share subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit the notification bell so you can be notified of new uploads and live stream put your notification on all now let's get into this video i have both parents growing up nah i barely had my mother what does it mean when you barely so, had your so, mother so. Like my mother had like three jobs she had she go to work during the day get home like three four o'clock then she go to a little part-time then she get home at like 9 30 10 and then she'd go to a, her nighttime job and we you know bartending whatever she did at night we don't know she just come back home and like four or five in the morning, six in the morning. Sometimes she come home eight in the morning. You know, we got to get ourselves ready for school type shit. You dig what I'm saying? So like, like five, four, we was raising ourselves. I've been trying to find good people for so long. I'm tired, bro. I would say this, it's, it's, it's a 100%, bro. It's, it's so okay to be tired. I got, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got nothing left. You ain't got nothing left to give. I'll tell you this, bro. I'll be it. Like, whatever you need, dog. Like, you just want to talk. Like, I, I for sure can't hoop with you. I'll go out there and pass that hole. Like, what we're saying is, bro, like, we want to be those people. Bringing you here wasn't about this. I wanted to talk basketball and hoops. But, dog, folks love you, dog. Nobody want to see you go through this. I think the thing is, man, like, so many times, as black men, we are asked because of talent, to carry everybody we are not made to carry everybody black women are asked to carry everybody they are not made to carry everybody dog it takes a fucking village bro and at some point you got to have somebody who don't need shit from you who don't want shit from you who want to see you win man like we don't we don't do this for us yeah like like you want to build these things but it's about these conversations it's about bringing people on here and letting them tell their story what we saying is man don't give up and we won't give up i wanted to react to this video because it is so real men black men mostly do not speak about mental illness because they always carry that strong rough exterior around you know that macho man type of energy and a lot of them are hurting from things like what that gentleman was speaking about you know not really having his mother to be there to give him the love that he needed you know a lot of our men grow up just existing not getting comforted and be told it's okay and given love and they go around the same way they try but they don't know how to actually show affection and be attentive and understanding and it makes it hard for them to be in relationships with others because they're always hiding their true feelings. So even if you wanna be a partner to them and you wanna help them to get through whatever it is, they just shut down and they don't speak about it. And to see this man like opening up and saying he needs this type of community around him to support him, it just, warms my heart and i'm glad that he has that support in those gentlemen around him to say you know what it's not just let's go and shoot some hoops and you know all macho and i'm here for you you know we good we could talk you know i understand 
you know, and give them a shoulder to say, let off some steam and speak about their issues. So I want to let you all know that men do go through mental illness as well, and they can hide it a lot more because they hide exactly what I said, hide. They use other things like macho-ness and, you know, being tough and the exterior and they don't care attitude to cover it up be there for your men be there for your sons be there for your brothers your uncles your fathers try to look for the signs secluding angry a lot of that i could say for myself i tried i have a 26 year old who does battle with a mental illness and if it wasn't for going through it myself i wouldn't have been able to see the signs and help him to get the help that he needed he was so upset with me when i even had him admitted to the hospital and when we talk about it now he's so relieved and happy that I paid attention regardless of what others were telling him you don't need no doctor you don't need this you don't need that so thanks be to God that God gave me the air and the experience of my own to recognize it so pay attention guys it's not only females go through mental illness even children go through it so let's help our family let's help our children let's help our men get through mental illness thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment share subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit that notification bell so you can be notified of new uploads and live stream we are blessed and highly favored